City is compelling fair, one of the biggest crowds at the city ground this season, and many of those here remembering the excitement of the last Nottingham derby in December. Forest were beaten 3-2 that day, and can certainly afford no repeat of there to maintain their thrust for Europe. A challenge revived by wins in three of their last four matches. Steve Hodge, their new player of the year, is out through suspension, so Brian Clough today recalls Mark Proctor, who recently returned somewhat reluctantly from a loan period with Sunderland. County's relegation fears have more or less subsided. Just a couple more points really needed to be absolutely safe. They're still having to cope, though, without the injured Justin Fashionu, who would, I'm sure, have loved to have played against the club when he had such a turbulent time. Trevor Christie is his replacement up front, and County are likely to employ three central defenders in Kilcline, Hunt and Richards. And taking charge today, Alf Gray of Great Yarmouth, who next month, in his last season on the league list, will referee the FA Cup final at Wembley. And they're perhaps the Forest player of the future. One young man who's certainly enjoying his day out. So, Nottingham Forest getting us underway here in the sunshine. The 80th Nottingham League derby. Forest with the better of the previous matches so far. They won four more than County. But surprisingly, County have won the last four here at the city ground. Indeed, it's 30 years since Nottingham Forest last won this fixture. And straight away, we've got an injury. It's Sean Chidozi. So, Chidozi back on his feet. That seems to be all right, although just holding his head after that early collision. So, Kilkline then with the free kick. Goes McCulloch, just getting the touch on. And headed away for a corner by Britton Gunn. So, Notts County first to show. And over goes Worthington to take the corner. Kilkline has come up for the kick customary ploy of Knox County to use the height and strength of the air of Kill Klein, who's just inside the six-yard box. Oh, the goalkeeper lost it, and the goal right at the opening minute by Lautenen. Well, what an amazing start to the match, just two minutes gone, and Aki Lautenen has given Knox County the lead, and that has to be down to a goalkeeping error. The corner floated over and Brokeland lost it, and it's hammered into the corner by Lartanen. So, what a start for Notts County. They're leading by a goal to nil, and Aki Lartanen, the Finnish international, has scored the goal. Anderson through for Davenport, good touch off then for Wallace. Away from Goodwin, still Wallace, in for Davenport. And he's tripped, besides the referee, just outside the penalty area. It's a challenge for the ball then with Phil Klein, I think it was, who brought him down. Why has he given obstruction inside the penalty area? Well, that seems to be the decision. The ball is certainly inside the 18-yard box, so the referee there deciding that it was obstruction by Kilkline. So the free kick will be hit direct. So a chance here, surely, for Forrest. Wallace is on the end of the five-man Notts County wall. Robertson Swain coming in, and the goal from Swain. His first goal for Nottingham Forest. And what a timely one, too. Ejected figure of Rally Abramovich and Forrest have equalized. And we can see the free kick again. Swain hurtling in, the ball just touched into his path. And really, perhaps the goalkeeper might feel he should have stopped it. But it was certainly hit with awesome power by Kenny Swain. And the game now has really come alive. Off goes Proctor. Chidozi for County. Worthington's ball through. And Young giving it straight to Goodwin. And he then ran into Bowyer.
Ja. Davenport. Caught there then by Goodwin. And a Forest free kick. Certainly the Forest confidence has been sky high in recent weeks after their four-match unbeaten run. They were shaken by County's early goal, but they're right back now. And Robertson, beaten away by Abramovich. That was a brilliant save. He seemed to be going the other way from Robertson's shot, which I think was deflected. And Abramovich somehow managed to push it wide. Robertson's shot certainly deflected, and Abramovich somehow turned it away. But Forrest coming back again. Proctor, blocked by Kilkline. And whacked away then by Worthington. But Forrest are really firing at the moment. The county will do well to weather the storm. Kilkline, straight to Proctor. Referee allowing the advantage, although the linesman was flagging for offside. Bowyer, a good pass sent from Davenport. Way by Richards. Still Forrest pressing. A marvellous pass then from Bowyer. In fact, just a little longer than I thought. Picked up here, though, by Walsh. Oh, he's beaten Benjamin comfortably to Davenport. Surely it is. A goal from Proctor. A scramble in the area. A 21 minutes gone. Forrest are in front. Mark Proctor. That's an irony, really. Good work by Walsh down the left. And then finished off by Mark Proctor. Scramble in and around the six-yard box. Davenport's effort. Your client couldn't clear. And Proctor, the man who says he wants to leave Nottingham Forest, has put them in front. So, 2-1, then 2, Nottingham Forest. And the match has swung right around. Proctor, who still hopes to join the Sunderland, the club he returned from recently. Well, perhaps he might change his mind now. His sixth goal for Forrest this season. Good win. Well read there by Gunn. He used his strength to ward off the challenge from McCulloch. Now Chidozi. He has a lot of acceleration. Pallock through, Chidozi! The fight run through then by Chidozi. And an intelligent ball too from McCulloch. Who chipped the ball through to him. Chidozi, who passed to McCulloch initially, he continued his run, and then on the volley, over the bar. Forrest with the ball back, with Robertson to dap the ball. That's understanding. Christie, now Benjamin. Swain's clearance. County still probing. Goodwin trying the shot, long range and blocked there by Ian Bowyer. Long ball from Kilcline and Chidozi's pace could set up a chance here. McCulloch coming in. And Anderson's presence was just enough to put him off. But that was set up there by the sheer pace of John Cadozzi. Running on to the long ball through from Kilcline. And McCulloch coming in at the far post couldn't convert the opportunity. So the end of a fairly eventful first 45 minutes. And the match swinging right round. County taking the lead through Lucky Lartanen, just two minutes gone. Kenny Swain equalising for Forrest, and then Mark Proctor, the man who says he wants to leave the city ground, giving them the lead, and at half-time, it's Forrest, 2-1 in front. The kick-off with the task on now, then, to maintain their excellent record here in recent years. They won seven of the last eight matches against Forrest here. Indeed, Brian Clough was saying in the programme notes he considered not bothering to turn up today. Steve. Beaten though to the ball by Anderson. And 
that'll be a forest throw. He really has been quite outstanding so far, Viv Anderson. Anderson away to Wallace. Trying to shrug off Hunt and Goodwin. And time now for Anderson. To Davenport. And a Forest free kick. Taken by Robertson. Looking for Davenport. And the ball clearly striking his arm. Cullock's headed out, and Willie Young knocking it back to Van Brooklyn, the Dutch international. Wallace's header, up goes Kilclyde, Wallace in again bravely, but too strongly, and an arm was used. Pick on for Proctor. Off he goes, only Wallace in the middle, this is Wallace, struck the woodwork, the county clear, really was a fine effort then by Ian Wallace, the only Forest player really up in support, and his header rebounded back off the bar. David Hunt. Dozing, nipping in and beating Swain. And over came Young. He doesn't mess around in that sort of situation. Certainly when a player as quick as Jadozi is coming through. Benjamin. With Lartanen. Robertson it was who brought it away. Now to Walsh. Robertson can't keep up with him outside him. He's still available, if needed. In goes Wallace. So nearly made contact. The ball tantalizingly floated over by Colin Walsh. Teasing defenders, curled it into the area. And Wallace, with a diving header, just fell to make contact. Now Proctor. Robertson's made the run. Robertson appealing for a free kick. All he's got, though, is a throw-in. And even wants to take that himself. Here he is again. Little ball in for Wallace. Robertson sidestepping Worthington. This time he has fouled it. Marshall Worthington, who's been converted to a midfield player by uh, Howard Wilkinson, the team manager at Notts County. Normally a left fullback. Proctor to Anderson with a lot of space. Wallace! Surely offside, three Forest players, Willie Young protesting. A smile though from Ian Wallace. Clearly there the Forest contingent were offside. Chidozi. Can't get round Gump. Now Worthington. Does his cross. And a goal kick to Forrest. As Christie went in then with Lartanen. Trevor Christie, who scored in the three previous Nottingham derbies in Division One in the past three years. And Notts County are about to make a substitution. Tristan Benjamin is going off. 
And on comes Rashid Harkook, who's a midfield player. I would think it's injury that's curtailed Benjamin's involvement in the match. Indeed, Mark Goodwin is moving to right back, and Rashid Harkook, who's had a lot of injury problems this season, comes into midfield. Not killed Klein, not quite where he intended. Back to Arabovic. Worthington. This is Chidozi. Again, did well to get in the cross. Doria's clearance, made by Walsh. Our Cook chipping it back. The head out, pushed over the bar by Matt Brooklyn from McCulloch. All started by the excellent cross from Chidozi. Our Cook it was who then chipped the ball back across the area. McCulloch unmarked at the far post, and it needed a good save from Bram Brokelin. And some questions asked in the Forest defence. Our Cook's corner. Christie heading wide. Well, Trevor Christie was very close then to keeping up his record of having scored recent matches against Forest. Phil Klein finding Christie. Anderson was too good for him. Now Proctor. Away from the tackle of Harcook. Walsh is coming in at the far post. Into the arms of Aramovich. Quickly clears upfield. The Forest come again with Robertson. County playing the offside trap. Oya's header. Coming as far as Goodwin. Looking to send McCulloch away. Guns missed it. And that really should have been another opening then for McCulloch. Mistake by Brent Gunn. McCulloch will feel he should have made more of that. And there inevitably instructions from Ryan Clough, who's saying keep it cool, there's not long to go. This is Goodwin. Already whistles from the Forest supporters. McCulloch to quit the two, uh, Harkook. Harkook went. And over came Gunn. Harkook. Should be Willie Youngs. And a county corner. Roars of encouragement from their supporters. McCulloch taking the kick. Hill Klein. That broken underneath it. Chance here for Worthington. And in the end, saved by Van Brokelen. My word, that was close. We're now into injury time. And Alf Gray has had a look at the watch. That might be County's last opportunity. Indeed it was. The Forest players with arms aloft. They stay in contention for Europe. After that so traumatic time from the turn of the year, they're back in the groove again. Their first win over County here in 30 years. And this after County had taken the lead through Lattenen. Kenny Swain equalising. Mark Proctor getting the winner for Forest. All the goals coming in the first half. And it's Forrest who've won the Nottingham Derby here by two goals to one.